Right then, so control time. What we'll do is we'll go through the controls first. So we'll need cursor, control up, down, left, right. We'll need cursor, enter. This is like your left click on your mouse. And cursor, the space, select, button, depress, which is basically what allows you to uh, cycle through the sh uh, screen's uh, controls. Okay, so what we'll do first, make my life a bit easier, we'll go map, orientation, north up, we'll go pan, you might notice we don't, we're not currently controlling the screen on the right hand side, the cursor's here, so we'll press the cursor swap button as I'll call it now, and it brings it over here, go back here, and I'll show the little flow we're going to make today, we'll take off from Anderson, we'll fly to northwest, and then we'll attack this area just here with the uh, Tads. Right, so to add a point, what we have to do is press point, add, and then you can now throw a waypoint in with the cursor. What we're going to do, because it's a specific point, we're going to take off and land here. I'm going to go waypoint ID, check our abbreviation, so you can see, we want to go landing zone, LZ, off abbreviation, ID. LZ, enter, and for free text to make it life a bit easier, we'll just put uh, home in. Uh, it's only three letters, so that's what we can do. And then put our cursor over, we will put it down, put it on ourselves. It asks for an altitude, that is correct. Check here on our pinvis, that is correct, top right. We'll press enter. And you'll see there's now a waypoint. Next we'll add a generic waypoint. Just add. Move the cursor to where it wants it. And depress. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll add a target point or a command leader, I should say. So we'll go abbreviation, check what you want. Armored enemy. This is uh, what we'll be marking. Uh, a bit an enemy building, it's uh let's call it. We'll go and check and make sure it's in the right coordinates. So this is the one I like to use. Uh, in the Apache, you can use uh, decimal points to the three, but I prefer this one. It's a bit shorter. So uh, our abbreviation for armored enemy is AE. Come out of our, uh, abbreviation. Add combat measure ID. Now, technically, if we saw it, we could. Just throw it down, but we don't. We can't sit on that. What we do? Go A E, enter, free text. We'll call it uh, building. Good enough. We'll clear it. There we go. And this is our latitude longitude, and also our UTM. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can round her up. Yeah, that's a nice lovely number. Five five. Pepper. Bravo. Romeo. Six seven. Six four. And it is zero three eight zero. You might notice we've dropped a number. That's because the final number here. In this case four we drop so zero three eight zero we press enter and it hasn't been accepted we'll check our height that is correct it's off by a foot so in this case i'll correct it 482 feet enter you might now notice it's it's been put in see this has gone blank we can even go to our chords control point measure and our AE, our armoured enemy building has been made but it's not visible. To show this, what we'll do, good practice, go to nav, so I go to from nav to attack, go show, chord show, enemy units. I don't now see our building has appeared. We'll make a quick route now, uh, basically joining the dots together. 
turn panel. Go orientation to normal. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So we can center it as well. There you go. So, make a route. Go route. Add. Select our takeoff point. Bring the cursor over. Click. Waypoint 2 has now been added to, also waypoint 1 has now been added to our current point. Add it to the end. Now we'll add waypoint 2. So we can either click here, or optionally, we can click, point, come over here, waypoint 0, 2, enter. It's gone blank, it hasn't flashed. And you see, that has worked. So we'll pop that in now. To the end. And next, we'll uh, add uh, the building point. So, in this case, it's C52. So we go chord, we can check, C52 building. But we can also just go, uh, where is it? Root, add, put it over, click, C, oh, sorry, C51 in this case, and then to the end. Might let us, our waypoints have disappeared. That's because we're in an attack phase at the moment. So we'll go nav, go to root, and zoom in. I'll, do, I'll go back into north so it might be a bit more easier. And we see our route has been made. Next, I'll show you how to make the current point, so waypoint 2, the uh, point we'll go to. Because if you can see on our HUD, or our monocle, Waypoint 1 is 300 meters away. We don't want to go to waypoint 1, we want to go to waypoint 2. How do we do this? We go route, direct. You can either click one of these uh, little bit square buttons, or you can actually cursor over waypoint 2 and click uh, depress. Cursor depress. We know it's worked because uh, we now have 9.1 9 kilometers, waypoint 2. Uh, on our uh, monocle. As well as this, if we quickly take off, we will take control from George. Okay, departing out of Anderson now. You can see we have a home plate straight ahead of us. And that would be our waypoint. We'll check this by going by, uh, down to the TSD and checking we're in the right direction, which we are. Nice and simple in that regard. So what we do, I'll uh, cut to refine or over waypoint 2. Okay, we're now approaching waypoint 2. We're in about 2.5 kilometers away at the point at this point. Uh, we know we're close to um, our target point at this point. But you'll see our acquisition source is fixed on the monocle, and it also says fixed down here. I'll get rid of the monocle. So how do we change that? We can just go chord, select whatever you want to designate, and then designate it. So in this case it will be C52. At this point, you might notice nothing's really changed. What we can do though, is as long as you're in flight mode in the monocle, we can press slave. And now we get a cross to show designation point. As well as that we can go uh, site to CADS, press slave again and that will bring it over. Get rid of the monocle. Let's see. We can start looking for targets and stuff like that. Nice and easy.